What up, what up, gamers? Ud up here. Before I begin the war against the Pacific Islands, I wanted to take time and appreciate all of my followers and subscribers on YouTube, Twitch, and my other social media accounts that follow and support my videos. It's crazy that I have fans from around the world that watch and support my videos from Russia to the UK, Germany, Brazil, Canada, everywhere basically, and I truly love it. This game, Supreme Ruler, not a lot of people know about this game, but if everyone is watching my videos and supporting me, then that's amazing. Even though my brother sometimes says, this game really doesn't matter that much, and who plays this game anyway? Well, me of course, and of course the people that watch it and watch my videos. So I want to thank everyone that watches my videos and that have watched it for the past three years I've been doing this. This is what I love to do, and I'm going to keep doing it and create better content for you guys to watch. So, thank you Edible Gamers. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. What up Edible Gamers, welcome to Australia versus the Pacific Islands. Not just the Pacific Islands, but all of the Pacific Islands. New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, Solomon Islands, Fiji, Vanuatu, and of course, the Pacific Islands themselves. I've been wanting to do this versus for a long time. The only reason why I haven't done it yet is because of the uh, lack of reserves or deployment for Australia. That happened with the uh, nation of Somalia, as everyone remembered. I couldn't deploy that many units, so it was pretty hard to take out Eritrea. I took out Djibouti, but I couldn't take out Eritrea, if you guys remembered or have watched that video. Uh, Australia has the same problem, just like Somalia did, so... I had to wait about two months, almost three months in game just to uh, build and deploy a lot of units, especially Navy and Air units. That's what I'm using right now as you can see. I've got a bunch of Naval units lined up around the border of Papua New Guinea, around New Zealand, and these are just back up, I guess you could say. Oh, I'm sending a few of them out. That's right. I'm sending a few towards uh, Vanuatu and Fiji. First off, the, uh, the capitals. Papua New Guinea, Port Moresby has four garrisons in their capital. Port Via, one garrison. Suva, four garrisons. Impressive for Fiji. Uh, Wellington, four garrisons, which is probably the toughest uh, Pacific nation to take out. Second, probably Papua New Guinea, and third, I'm putting it for Fiji, and uh, Solomon Islands, that's right, forgot about them. Four garrisons, oh, wow, alright. Surprise. And Garapan with just one garrison. So I'm basically going to be island hopping all these islands, and it's going to take some time actually to take all these nations out. Even though there's only a few garrisons, it's going to take some time, and um, it could probably be two parts I'm hoping for it not to be two parts but if it is then alrighty then two parts it is so let's get this show on the road against New Zealand first Dominican Republic no thank you let's see how things goes and I also uh, already built transportation ships as well and placed the units that I could deploy inside the uh, Sacramento transportation ship and also on Australia's only carrier, I think. The Garibaldi. Not a lot of units in there, but that's enough to, I think, take out or take control of Port Moresby, which I'm hoping. So, let's go. Let's do it. I'm curious to uh, see what happens, since I've never done a versus for Australia or have taken any nation with Australia, mind you. All right. So the Navy is the uh, main, oh crap, main attacker, probably, in this versus. This probably the first time I'm going to be using only Navy, for the, most of the time, most of the video actually. And so far, my naval units are getting destroyed. My DEFCON, let's put it at 1. Let's take you out. So I'm not doing that many damage, that much damage, 
and it looks like my naval units are not doing that much <laughs> that I was expecting for. Well, that's not good, so I guess I'm going to have to find a seaport and land somewhere else. Auckland. Let's go to Auckland over there. Switch position. And take out the Carl Gustav and the artillery unit that's over there. So I can make a landfall for my units. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Take him out. And we're gonna unload you guys. Unload, I said. I said unload. There we go. Got my units there. Where are you going? No! Stay! We got this. Auckland is totally undefended, so... That's good. Well, we're in New Zealand. This is the first time this has ever happened. <laughs> Holy crap. I never expected to invade New Zealand. They've got missiles. Where do they get those from? Well, that's annoying. I wonder if I can fly some air units across the Pacific. I don't think that's gonna happen though. Shit, alright, you know what? I gotta send my naval units over there, I think. I still need my uh, transportation ship. That's very important. I can't lose that. If I do, then all these units are stuck. Because this is the only, <laughs> only transportation ship I could deploy. I've built over. 50, 60 transportation ships, and only one out of those 60 that I've built deployed. And also that carrier. That was a pain to uh, deploy that carrier as well. Alright, let's go to war with Papua New Guinea. Uh, it's in the. Ah, oh, never mind. Now that I just thought about it, I'm gonna get the same result. They've got four garrisons there. So, where's a the seaport? Papua New Guinea doesn't even have another seaport. Oh man, that sucks. Shit. There's one all the way over there, but that's not gonna do me any good. Really? That's it? Oh man. No. Not in Indonesia as well. Crap. Alright, let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. I could fly air units actually. Pretty close. So I'll try that out. Ouch. Alright, let's do this. Where's the rest of my air units? Holy crap, they're all the way down there. They can't even make it. Not enough fuel. Hola di da. 300, and that's it. 300 of fuel? Really? Impala? Oh man, this is a joke. Come on, Australia. These are good fighter jets. But they're not fuel efficient. Oh shit. Dang it. I knew this was gonna be a problem from the start. It wasn't gonna be easy from the start. I knew that already. For some reason, I always get this little black bar up over here. I don't know why. The black column right there. That always appears every time I zoom, zoom in close to New Zealand, which is weird. This could end up three parts. End up three parts. That's what I'm trying to say. Oh, that's right. They're gonna get destroyed over there. Oh no, they're doing. They're doing pretty well. All right, you know what? I should send the rest of the naval units up there. So support. And you guys, I hope you guys can make it at least. Please. Yeah. There we go. Which does nothing. Ah. Alright, let's focus on... What was the other nation? Vanuatu. I think you say it. Vanuatu. 
Mm. One garrison. Get over there. Back to New Zealand. Right, let's keep going down south before they place more garrisons in Wellington. So far, it's only four still. Alright, you gotta get out. Oh shit, too late. Sorry. My bad. Alright, you know what? It's not as hard as uh, New Zealand. We're putting in work, at least. Let's go for another round, shall we? This guy can just repair. There you go. Anyways, backup is coming. Oh, they're war in Vanuatu. Destroy the only garrison they have. Alrighty. What? You can't engage, really? There we go. And I'll focus on Fiji. That's gonna be tough. <laughs> On trucking down south, Plymouth, New Plymouth. Anything good here? Yeah, so far they placed another garrison in there, but it won't do any good anymore. All right, I'm just waiting for some units. Oh, these guys over here I can use over here. Bring them towards uh, Vanuatu and just. Make a landfall and take the capital. And well, Vanuatu is mine. Vanuatu. That's a tongue twister sort of to me. What we got here? Oh shit. I'm glad that I'm doing this Australia versus. I'm so glad. I wanted to do this for years. Just that I've never found out a way until somebody mentioned how about against the Pacific. And that was actually a great idea, so I thank you for that. Brilliant. So far I'm enjoying it, even though it's sort of a pain. Well, not anymore actually. I've got the hang of it. Island hopping is pretty fun, if you ask me. And if you have uh, a bunch of islands under your control... It's pretty awesome and rad. Pacific Islands, easy but very far away, so I hope I have enough fuel to make it. I think I will. The US, oh shit, I can't make a treaty with them, they hate me. Obama's like, nope, stay your ass over there in the Pacific. <laughs> Alrighty, let's make a landfall on Port Moresby. Yay, my first Pacific nation. In control. Oh wait, never mind. No, it's not. Oh shit. Actually, it is my first Pacific nation to take out. So they got a few more units in there. Not a problem, though. Not a problem. All right. Now for their barracks. We got a bunch of Carl Gustavs. Crap, my recons are taking a lot of damage. Let's take him out of the battle for now. There's a barracks up there. That my recons. What do we have over here again? Four garrisons, two artillery units, three garrisons. Dang it. Wait a minute. What are you guys doing? No! Fuck. New Zealand is eliminated. They just gave up. Alright, I guess New Zealand is my first nation under control in the Pacific. Wow. But anyways, what? You fools. No. <sighs> now they're stuck and now I can't take out Papua New Guinea. Fucking fantastic. Stupid AI. How cringeworthy is that? Gosh dang it. All they needed to do was stay there. Stay their asses right there. Instead, they try to flee just because they have no fuel or ammunition. No ammunition, actually. 
So now I gotta grab the units from New Zealand, sell them all across, well, all the way to Papua New Guinea, and yeah. Then I have to uh, go straight for uh, Vanuatu. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go for Vanuatu first. That's what I'm gonna do. Let's go to Seaport. I'm not gonna bring that many units, actually. Screw that. Actually, I, yeah. I'm bringing all of them. What the hell am I talking about? They all fit. The Sacramento is amazing. The best transportation ship in the game. My opinion, of course. It's also the uh, design for the United States, by the way. All right, let's load it. Load it. Load them up. Come on, you fools! Load up. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. There's a the timer. Everyone, everyone, except for you guys. I don't need you artillery units. Who is this? Oh, that's Australia. All right, all right, all right. Time to head for Vanuatu, and then I'll take uh, Papua New Guinea. They just placed another garrison in there. Perfect. That sucks. Protector. Get you up over there and regrouped. So what do I have here? Not so much. Oh, that's right. These guys are dying over here. <laughs> uh, we can use them for Fiji, actually. Let's do that. Even though a lot of them need repairs. I'll only send a few. Just a few. To repairs. And I'll end the part right here. I'll see you guys in part two.